but she gotta come try it. They wondering what I've been doing. I told them I'm keeping it quiet. Uh, I pull up, you know I be moving. We're been the four and I'm cruising. The money I'm speaking. Hi guys, Lens here. In this video, I am going to show you how to do a setup with this desk jet. This version is 2722. It's never been opened, so I'm gonna quickly unbox this with this box. And we are actually going to set this up. You can set this up to print from your phone. You can also set this up wirelessly as well through your computers. You can also set this up using a USB cable. So, as you can see, this is actually the box and there are some instructions here but we have this instruction in different languages and the thing is when you purchase new printers I actually like to purchase printers that will come with ink so this is just a guide how to set this up and it's quite simplified we also have the ink here we have the cable here as well and we have some leaf that's here how you can save fifty percent on ink, and this is the printer in the box. So as you can see, this is the printer, and it's well cushioned with the styrofoam at the end. So we're going to take it out. So as you can see, the printer is out so i'm going to be honest with you guys i actually like what they're doing in terms of the packaging this is the reason why i'm going to say this is that this is covered with plastic so if it happens that the box happened to get wet or anything this plastic will actually protect the printer it will protect the printer from dust it will protect the printer from water and from anything that can damage it so as you can see it's well protected and we will just need to just make a hole somewhere and let me just mention that this printer is actually an all-in-one So this printer is actually a backup printer for me to scan. So we have a scanner and we can do copies right away, right? So we have genuine HP inks here, which is the color on the block. We will be needing to remove this tape. So as you can see, we just open this door for the first time you have all these tapes that you need to remove so it's very important that you remove these tape before turning this on as you can create a lot of damage so you want to remove all these tape out of the way You'll also need to remove this tape and there's a piece of cardboard there as well. So you definitely need to remove these or you can damage the printer even before you even started using it. So what I am going to do, I am going to plug in the cable into the outlet normally these printers can work with both 100 volts and 40 to 30 volts 
so if you are wondering right i'm going to show you this if you are wondering it's actually written there 100 to 40 volts this is actually the power supply right here so everything is legit we're going to plug this in so guys we have just plugged in the power card and we're going to turn this on for the first time i am actually now realizing that this printer did not came with a usb cable and i'm believing it is because capability of using this wirelessly so as you can see the wireless icon is actually blinking here we have the inks here actually and we can go right ahead insert these they're quite easy to insert you open the door and there's another door in which you have to open as well if you look here here is where we need to enter the black look at the diagram and here's where you enter the color we also have the qr code here so if you want to do a scan here's the qr code and also there's an app so we are going to download the app and we are going to set this up as well we can set this up on our computer as well i'm going to show you how to do all of that right now so what we're going to do here we are going to download the hp smart app so you want to go you want to search for the hp smart app you want to install the app so after the app is installed you want to go ahead open the app accept all the terms and agreement for this app then what we can do here we can create an account if needed we can sign in we can skip for now but we're going to set up a new printer here It is actually searching for the printer now. So it says here, make sure that the printer is supported, turned on and connected to the network properly. So it's actually searching for the printer. It should find the printer option. Turn the location on. And this is my printer right here. Right? So this is how we are going to set this up. We need to enter our Wi-Fi password. So I am going to go ahead and enter that. So I just entered my Wi-Fi password. And as you can see, this is it. So we need to, there's a button on the printer that we need to press. This button right here. I'm going to go ahead and I just press that button right there with the eye. And it is accessing the network. So this is how we set this up using our Wi-Fi on our mobile phone. And we should be able to print directly from our mobile phone as well. For those of you who want to know how to set this up using your computer, I'm also going to show you how to do so. Accept all terms, condition. We don't necessarily need any account, so we are going to skip. Skip. It is asking me to load paper into the tray, right? Continue. It is asking me to install the ink. So I am going to install the cartridges. If it's your first time setting up a printer, you need to remove this tape. 
if you don't then you'll create a lot of damage so you need to remove this tape and what you need to do you need to put this in and then push this up then we are done that's how you insert the now back to the setup and as you can see here it is now checking the printer the ink is installed then you can see sending printer registration to account so guys we have the app here hp smart and definitely we can do what we want you can actually see the ink level we can grade it we can camera scan we can print photos print scan print document copy this is quite awesome and this is quite useful for us to do all of this i recommend that you create an account and use the same account on your phone and also your computer so we are going to do this on the computer as well definitely we will need to download hp smart on our computer and i'm going to show you how we are going to do this so guys what you want to do here you want to type hp smart for PC or Windows 10 or whatever Windows you are on right so you want to download the setup you can get this from support hp.com and once we get this downloaded let's go right ahead also you can download this from Microsoft store as well so here's the HP smart we're going to we are going to click get so you can download this from the microsoft store we are going to install continue this is not really necessary so Whatever is not necessary at this time, we're just going to skip. We're going to skip. Actually, we need to set up a printer. So when it takes you to this area, you can click add printer here. And as I said, you can do this using a USB cable, which is quite easy because our wi-fi is on the phone that we set this up on and because the printer is already set up on the wi-fi as you can see it is already set up on the phone it recognized by our ip address so it is here so what we are going to do we are just going to integrate the same settings on our computer here it is asking for the pin number so let, let me just show you where we can find this and this pin number right here is at the location where the barcode is right we need to open the door where the inks are so let me just go quickly and get the barcode so guys we just entered the pin we are going to submit so the printer is now connected and here we are here we are if this is actually important to you in setting up an account to get warranty the boxes yeah, there is some sort of warranty but we are more focusing on getting this printer set up and actually we are done so we just set this up on our phone and i just show you how to set this up on your computer let me let you know that you can also use a usb card as well 
for your printer as we are relying on the Wi-Fi to do all of this the IP address let me let you know if your Wi-Fi is down then you will be getting problems so you will need to get a USB cable for this printer as I said earlier we did not get any in the box right if I so desire we can go right ahead and print this paper so let me just put some paper into the printer and I am going to click print so guys I am going to hit print and actually you can see I have a different printer set up here so I just need to change this option to our desk jet 2700 and we click print So guys, we are actually finished. You can see we have the printout here. And just to let you know, you can actually see that the printer is here. And also we have the ink level. We have all the other options here. Scan, print documents, print photos. So guys, this is how you set this up. I hope that this was helpful. Do like, share and subscribe and also let me hear you song off in the comment section below.